intramuscular stimulation, IMS, and also recently called as dry needling. We do that quite often at instant physical therapy to desensitize your trigger points. Dania here, my kinesiologist, she's also a soccer player. She has a lot of trigger points in the calf muscles and hamstrings, right? You go after the trigger points, you take your needle and go have a poke at the trigger points and desensitize them. So that's the whole point of dry needling. It's good for your neuropathic pain and also trigger point release in your, any part of the body. It can from the neck or the spine and your headaches, migraines and lower back pain, your any kind of muscle issues and uh, they can treat that with IMS. I'm a Guns Intramuscular Stimulation Certified Physiotherapist, Giri Srinivasan at Insta Physical Therapy. For your, all your IMS and dry needling needs, reach out to us. What are the various conditions can be treated with dry kneeling? I'm going to show it on Dania here, my kinesiologist. Starting from here, you have any TMJ issues, we can release your all the muscles of mastication. And also you have any neck issues, neck pain, we can release your paraspinals in your neck and your trapezius and your shoulder issues, any rotator cuff issues or shoulder issues, we can release your shoulder muscles there. We don't do a lot of digging in your thoracic spine, but we're coming to the lower back, you got a lot of deep, big muscles there. Lower back pain, releasing your quadratus lumborum or multifidus or iliocostalis, all your muscles are right here you can work on that coming to your glutes a lot of people have a lot of trigger points along the pelvic crest because all your big muscles attaches in your pelvic crest and also in your glute area your medius maximus your it band you can release those structures if you do too coming down to your hamstrings a lot of players sports people will have a lot of trigger points in the hamstring everybody recurrently injuring your hamstrings when the injury heals sometimes you can develop fibrous tissues converting into a trigger point later so you can release that in your hamstrings coming down to your calf and also don't forget the knee in between like for the knee issues also we can do some IMS around the knee then coming down to the calf muscles and going to the heel heel plane, plantar fasciitis a lot of uh, foot issues we can do here also and also in the front of the foot as well and it's the kind of a summary of different conditions we can treat neck pain, back pain, shoulder pain, hip pain, sciatica, hamstring pain, calf pain and heel pain and different conditions we can treat and motor vehicle accidents and also workplace injuries we can do dry needling or intramuscular stimulation. The three common conditions we see for IMS or dry needling is number one is uh, neck and shoulder issues, right? So any kind of headaches, migraines, and a lot of people work on the desk all day, very tight neck muscles and trapezius muscles. We release a lot of stuff on the upper, so that really helps. Number two is your back pain, because of the deep muscles and a lot of sitting and loading and a lot of stress go through the back. So you can develop a lot of trigger points in your back muscles, we release them. And number third is your leg, especially your quads, hamstring and calf, especially the sports people and multiple injuries and hematoma, strain sprains, you do develop some fibrous tissue, which becomes the trigger points later and we can desensitize them and make the sports guys or girls to perform better in their what's respective sports.